Hello everyone and welcome to our Primavera P6 version 18 overview of course and tutorials and today is gonna be lecture number six how to create a biz line in P6 why this is very important because your biz lines are signed off what you agreed with your client is your reference of a measurement and you would like to measure any differences any delays uh, uh, compared to the biz line to know if you are ahead uh, of the schedule behind the schedule and this is very important uh, uh, in p6 or any schedule this line this line is your target that provide a point of reference okay and you will use uh, this uh, copy to measure any deviations in schedule and cost there's many types in primavera and you can assign multiple biz lines and i will go right now on the live software to show you guys how you do the biz line so here in the office building model that we are using for our training uh, uh, i have now the office building schedule and i will go by the way here under project and you will find two important tabs here assign biz line and maintain a biz line let me go right now here and uh, for a project and I will make maintain a biz line okay what I will do here I can make add you can find here by the way what would you like to do save a copy of the current project as a new biz line or if you have a different project and you would like to assign it as a biz line so I will choose save a copy of the current project as a biz line I will make okay and you will see right now here that the program created a, a center a city center office building uh, addition p2 as a biz line and you have the name here okay i will choose by the way uh, what type of the biz line maybe i will see by the way this is what if biz line here is the data date and here is the last updated date okay so now we have created the biz line what is the next step okay you go project and then go to assign and i will go to project biz line i need to choose b2 as a biz line and also i will choose it as a primary biz line because i would like to measure all my progress dates to this revision and right now uh, uh, you cannot see anything on your screen until you go by the way here to the gantt chart and the right click and you choose bar and I will go and choose uh, this primary biz line I can by the way choose the thickness I can choose the start like that okay I will put it in row number three so that you can have some distances between that I will apply and now you can see that you have your biz line shown like that and also to be helpful for you guys i'm gonna look for the column here and then go to column and i would like to go to the dates and i will choose what i will choose uh, this line project finish okay and also i will use uh, this line project start i will move this like that and will apply so that you will have your biz line dates and your actual dates ready to do uh, your updates i hope you like this lectures and know how to create and maintain a line how to show you in the Gantt chart how to add the columns here so that you can measure the differences in the next lecture thanks so much for watching and see you in the next lecture and this is alex Hinda, we project control managers in california usa